The MLB season is about to start, and you're probably trying to figure out the best way to watch your O's, your Stro's, your D-backs, your Nats, your Yanks, your A's. The two best services for watching tons of Major League Baseball are MLB TV and MLB Extra Innings. So which one should you get? Well, it all depends on where you live. In this video, we'll tell you all about both MLB TV, which is a streaming service, and MLB Extra Innings, which you can only get if you have a cable or satellite TV subscription. You'll also leave this video knowing exactly which one you should get. So grab your peanuts and Cracker Jacks and let's play ball. Make sure to like and subscribe if you value what we do. Okay, here's the key to which service you should get. If you live near your favorite team, you should get MLB Extra Innings. If you live far from your favorite team, you'll be fine with MLB TV. MLB Extra Innings can range from $120 to $180 for the baseball season, depending on which satellite or cable TV provider you have. And MLB TV is about $120 for the season. Considering your couch is basically a front row seat for about 27 weeks or seven months, it's a steal. Don't believe me? Just ask the Astros. Damn! But anyways, let's start with what MLB Extra Innings can offer you. If you live near your favorite team, let's say you live in Washington, D.C. and you love the Nationals, you're gonna want MLB Extra Innings. But in order to get an MLB Extra Innings subscription, you'll need a satellite or cable TV subscription like Dish, Xfinity, or DirecTV then you'll get access to all of the in-market games. And an added bonus with MLB Extra Innings for all you baseball junkies, you also get out-of-market games. But more on that in a second. First, let's go over the price. If you don't have a cable or a satellite provider right now, here's what you can expect in terms of pricing. Dishes, Xfinity's, and DirecTV's prices range from $50 to $125 per month. Of course, that's just the first year pricing. Don't forget about that second year price hike that most plans have. And for the season, MLB Extra Innings ranges from $120 to $180, depending on the service you choose. But if you're already subscribed to one of these providers, then you don't have to worry about the process of signing up for one. If you've been considering signing up with a satellite or cable TV provider, we recommend Dish, but that's for another video. Back to baseball. So when you get MLB Extra Innings, you also get MLB TV. This is how you get all out-of-market games. MLB TV is a streaming service, so you'll have to stream it on your iPhone, Android, Amazon Fire TV, Apple TV, Roku, or any of these devices. Again, MLB TV shows all out-of-market games. So if you're a Dodgers fan like me, and you don't live in Los Angeles, the streaming service is for you. You can opt to get the One Team Cover subscription for $94 for the season to get access to only Dodgers games. Or if Dodgers games aren't enough baseball for you, or you want to scope out the competition, the all-team coverage for the season is $120, just $26 more than the single-team coverage. So obviously it's worth spending that extra bit of money because that amounts to less than $1 per game. And during the off-season, for $25 per month, you can get replays of every regular season and postseason game from the previous season. So you could have spent your Christmas break watching the Astros cheat over and over again. <laughs> But in addition to the cost, there's another factor to consider, and you might not like it. Blackouts. Each baseball team has a deal with a regional sports network that serves that market. For example, you Yankee fans probably already know this, the Yes Network is a television home for the New York Yankees. So if you live in the New York market, you won't be able to see the Yankees or Mets games on MLB Extra Innings or MLB TV. The league protects the sports network by blocking competition from streaming services in the local market whether the team is playing at home or away. But if you get MLB TV and you're in a blackout area for a specific game, it'll be available as an archive game 90 minutes after it's ended. If you want to avoid blackouts by simply using the regional sports networks in your area, remember, you need to have a cable or satellite TV subscription. Just make sure that the package you're considering carries that network. So which one should you get? Get MLB Extra Innings if you already have a subscription to a traditional TV service like Dish, Xfinity, or DirecTV, because you'll also get MLB TV and get the best of both worlds. Or if you've been looking to cut the cord soon, there's no better time than now. Let's just say MLB Extra Innings is for the diehard baseball fans because you get access to all out-of-market and in-market games every single day. And it's a one-time $120 to $180 ticket to watch your favorite team play right in your living room. But if you don't have a cable or satellite subscription and you aren't interested in signing up for one, 
and you want out-of-market games, get MLB TV. If I helped you out, hit that like button. And if you want more fair and unbiased reviews from reviews.org, subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys.